Hey everybody, it is New Year's Eve at the one in the morning. I don't drink and I don't smoke, so I'm up and bored and drinking cranberry raspberry juice. But it was a good day, because as all spoiled kids do, I got money for Christmas. And with that money, I bought vinyl. I bought vinyl, four records in here. Three of them I can remember for sure, and the fourth one I can't remember. <laughs> so I try and forget, so it's exciting when I get it in. Uh, I have, for the second time, ordered from High Road Records. High Road Records is a Canadian um, new vinyl-only store, although it looked like they had some books in stock now. Um, but uh, I found out about them on Facebook because they had, were like a sponsored ad kind of thing and uh, I checked out their site through their link and their prices were jokes like they were so far under Amazon generally that I thought it had to be a scam um but I saw lots of good reviews for them and they were Canadian I wanted to keep it in Canada so I thought I'd give them a shot they had like at that time they had free shipping on like a $69 order it's like getting a free album um so I gave it a shot. I think I spent a hundred bucks, hundred and hundred and fifty bucks or something, and boom, showed up in like five days. Killer packaging, actually same company. I remember showing that bags unlimited. So it's sealed all the way around. Pretty decent. Um, so, anyways, they don't have free shipping at sixty nine bucks anymore. This is Canadian. It's free shipping at $99, but it's vinyl. Uh, so, I mean, you only have to buy three albums to get to 99 bucks, basically, these days. Um, so I grabbed four. And uh, it got here in three days, I think, this time. But it's in Ontario, and I'm in Ontario. So uh, I'm pretty sure they ship worldwide. Uh, you probably have to spend a bit more to get to U.S. for free. I'm not sure. But anyways, check them out. High Road Records. So let's open this and see what we got. Like I said, I know three of the four. I'll know the fourth, obviously, when I open it up. But I'm just drawing a blank right now. Because I bought some other albums, too. Because I had lots of money. And I still got some money left. Okay, so... This packaging is just killer, man. Like, they've got, and then they've got it like brown bag, but it's taped in again. And then taped in again, and taped, and taped. Okay, so first album. So this time I bought four albums I don't own on any media, which is cool because sometimes I just buy stuff I had on cassette or that I had on CD. This time, all four I do not own on physical media and I have not heard in their entirety. So the first one, Dozer. Madre de Dios. De Dios, de Dios, de Dios. So this is a bit older. This is early 2000s. This is, this would have been Dozer's second album. But then they came out with uh, like a new album, I think this year or, la or late last year, Vultures, which was demos. So... I guess you could kind of consider this like their third album. Um, so I haven't heard this in its entirety. I've heard a couple songs off of it. Um, I don't think it's a 180. But that's cool. Anyways, Dozer's an awesome band. If you like stoner rock, stuff that came out of Caius and Sabbath. Nice, big, heavy, full sound. Singer with a great range. Uh, check those guys out. You'll like them. Where do I put all this stuff? Holy moly. All right. Next one. Yes. Okay. So this is 
Isis Temporal. I have not, I bet you I haven't heard a single thing off this. Well, I love Isis. And this is a triple album. And I think it's got a DVD in it. Which, I don't even think I knew that when I bought it. But, this was like 30 bucks. <laughs> Their prices are insane. Like, I got... I got... When I was pricing these out, one of them I couldn't even find a price for. And the other three came to, like, what I paid for all four plus shipping. It's just, I don't even know how they do it. Anyways, like, if every store was just High Road Records, there'd be no Amazon. <laughs> so anyways... Isis Temporal triple album. I think this is like um, like demos and remixes and obscurities and stuff like that. I love Isis. I only own Wavering Radiant, which is a great album. And but I saw them live. I saw them open for Tool. And I actually think Tool screwed me over because I think they had Isis's sound turned way down. We saw them at an outdoor venue and it was pretty quiet. Like. For what I expected from Isis, but I, I didn't blame them, I blamed the sound. And then when Tool came out, it blew my friggin' right eardrum. It's, it sounded like it's been underwater ever since, because they opened with like two minutes of feedback. Love Tool to death, but thanks for ruining my ear. Leave Isis turned up. Anyways, that should be awesome. What do we got here? Okay, so this is the one I forgot that I ordered. Alkaline Trio. Is this thing cursed, I think, is what this one's called. Yeah, is this thing cursed? Nice. I'm not much of a... I'm not much of a... Get that glare off there. Oh, this doesn't have much. I'm not much of a punk guy. Alkaline Trio, I guess, is kind of like a pop punk, you would call it. But they're definitely... Uh, like, uh, what do you call it? There's some of the songs I'm trying to think of my words. They're like a guilty pleasure for me. I love a band with two singers or more because it mixes it up when it gets a little redundant. Some of their ballad type stuff is awesome. And they're just tight. They're a tight band. Great writing. Uh, it's just super listenable. Great for driving in the car. And I don't own that one. I think I own three or four of them. Damnesia, their acoustic album. If you like acoustic, it's really good. Check it out. And then this will be interesting. Sylvan Esso. So this is one of those bands that I discovered on NPR. I guess it's not really a band. It's two people, a guy and a girl. I'm sure they've got help along the way. But, uh... <laughs> they write some really catchy tunes. It's like electro dance pop stuff, which is totally not my thing. But for some reason, they just do it right. And uh, yeah, so I thought, you know, I'll grab that. So that probably sounds pretty sweet on vinyl. So I thought I'd grab one. And uh, they did a couple music desks, one from home and one in the studio, I think. And they were both great. Uh, so yeah, so that'll be cool to check out. Like I said, the prices are were awesome. I paid 115 shipped for those four albums, and one's a triple album, like crazy. So, anyways, uh, that's from High Road Records, and all four of those were mint, by the way. Uh, they only sell new, but there isn't a single. There's not a single crease, bend, fold on any of these and they're all sealed they're all sealed nice and tight no problems whatsoever those are ones super light you have to be careful with that one i don't know what's up with that it feels like there's like a seven inch in there anyways cool stuff check it out they got a great selection um just be patient search and search and search and don't be idiots. Like, if you don't see what you like in there, drop them a line and tell them what you're interested in. If they hear more about what the current trends are and what people are interested in stuff, then they'll order the stuff in. I've seen it. I saw a bunch of people put their thoughts on Facebook and their selection grew immensely and their website improved too. Their, their website works a lot better, I find. A lot smoother. 
Um, sometimes the searching can be a bit tricky because they think that you can find bands uh, in a few different genres and stuff like that, um, or in genres that you wouldn't expect to see them in. Like some places would put ACDC in the metal section uh, and some would put it in rock. You know what I mean? So you just got to take your time, look around. Anyways, that was a good Christmas for me. Thanks for watching.